today we have a very special interview featuring Montmorency and his alter ego Scarper from the book Montmorency on the Rocks. We will start with the gentleman Montmorency. How are you? Oh, I am so fine. And what a delight it is to meet such a splendid young lady as yourself. Um, oh, how are you? Good, thank you. So, you work for the British Secret Service? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. What a delightful young lady this is. Why do you... what do you do for them? Well, I suppose you might refer to me as a spy. Um, I travel around the world with my good friend, uh, Lord George Fox Swinton. Uh, and we, um... We do some uh, services for Her Majesty, uh, working against uh, terrorists, I suppose, um, stopping plans to overthrow uh, the government, and, and things of that sort. This must be a very adventurous job. Oh, yes it is. You would not believe the situations I have ended up in. I bet I wouldn't. I understand you had a drug problem. Yes, I... I, I I do wish you wouldn't mention that. That's not really something for polite society, particularly for a, uh, young, the ears of a young lady such as yourself. But uh, anyway, uh, my good friend, uh, Lord um, George, and uh, Dr. Robert Fawcett, uh, they, 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 they helped me, and I, I put that behind me now. That's good. But why did you, did you take the drug in the first place? Well, you see, I, I was on a mission uh, to Istanbul. Um, that is uh, in, uh, in the midst of the Ottoman Empire. And I, 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 I happened upon this, uh, this substance in one of the markets there, and I, I was lured into it. it. To tell you the truth, my line of work is such that I sometimes need to escape, especially from, from a little bit of my past, the, the, the shame of, of, of this common thievery. How was it to see Dr. Farset again after so many years? Well, it was a little strange at first, because uh, <clears throat> he'd seen me when I was in prison. But I, I, I don't want to talk about that. It was, um, in any case, uh, it was very good to see him. We've, we've become very good friends, actually. Well, that's good. So the two of you went on a journey together to an island called Terrymund, right? Why, yes, we did, as a matter of fact. That journey was rough, but um, <coughs> it was especially worth it because we were helping Terryman with a problem of theirs. Oh, really? What was it? <coughs> well, it seems that for a while, by two months of age, all the children of Terryman were dying. That's terrible. Why was this happening? Well, it, it wasn't always like this, you see. It was a new development. The inhabitants of Terramon, uh almost died out. Uh, there used to be rather a large population, but they were dwindling when we were there. What happened? Well, uh, thanks to uh, my good friend Dr. Fawcett and, and his friend Dr. Dougal of uh, London, uh, they found out that the children were actually being poisoned. Poisoned? It, it, it was accidental. I need to be clear about that. Um, a nurse on the island would, would bathe the uh, young babies in this special soap she made, but some bacteria apparently had gotten into it, and uh, it was it led to some infections that the uh, children could not fight off. It was perfectly safe for, for adults. Well, it's very good that you figured that out. Indeed it is. But the trouble wasn't over for you what, yet, was it? There was a bomber in London. Oh, yes, there was. That was terrible, this bomber. George and I had to track him down. The bomber even went off an old acquaintance of mine. She was a young lady, much like yourself, uh, but, but, but not as sophisticated, of course. Um, <clears throat> we did catch him, though. That was very good. The fellow had been tricked into doing this whole thing, uh, and uh, the deed was uh, done, and he was, uh, he, was, he was sent to prison. Well, it's very good that you caught him. We're going to wrap this up soon, but I have one more question. Indeed. What is it? Well, in this book, you finally told George about your past life. How did he take it? Yes. I... I wish I hadn't had to do that. Uh, he did not take it very well at first. He frankly was very ashamed of me, and I, I, I don't blame him. 
but uh, he, uh, he he gave he forgave me he forgave me and that, that that's what's important. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you for speaking with me, and I do hope you will speak with me again sometime. This concludes our interview with Montmorency, but stay tuned for an exciting interview with his alter ego, Scarfer. Now we will go to our interview with Montmorency's <coughs> alter ego, Scarfer. Hello. Uh, hi. How are you doing? Oh, all right, guess. So you're a thief? Uh, well, some people might call me that, love. Um, what do you steal? Oh, uh, money. Well, anything I can get me hands on. Um, why do you steal? <coughs> oh, well, I get, get money, I guess. I like it. I'm good at it. Um, have you ever been caught? Well, I was once. Uh, that was before Montmorency and, and, and Scarpa. But I won't get caught again. <laughs> Is that because you're a good thief or because you haven't stolen anything recently? Well, it's a little bit of both, uh, but um, well, uh, another man was blamed for me for, for for the crime. So Freak Show was his name. I don't want to talk about that. That's not. Oh, um, why haven't you stolen anything recently? Well, I haven't. Well, haven't felt like I needed to anything. Yeah, you know, um, Mr. Montmorency doesn't think I need to. Uh, you know, so. Well, you, <laughs> Did your cover used to be as Montmorency's servant? Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess so. I was, I was, I was a servant. Yeah. And no one caught on to your heist. No one. <laughs> no one. You must have been a good actor. Guess so. Yeah. I heard that Montmorency would sometimes pretend to be you when he was working undercover. Is that true? Yeah, but that, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me, love. <laughs> what? Can you please explain this? Well, it wasn't really me, you see. It was much nicer, you know, a bit more like a fop, you know? <laughs> okay. Uh, how was it having to change it between Montmorency and Scarborough all the time? Oh, <laughs> I didn't really care what happened, as long as I can do what I want. Oh, um... After all, <laughs> we're two different people. But you're the same person. <laughs> Precisely! <laughs> Do you have anything else that you would like to add? Well, I don't think so, except, except watch the sewers! <laughs> this wraps up our interview with Scarper.